Taiwan's birth rate has been declining for more than a decade. In 2018, the number of those 65 years and older surpassed those under 15. As the population moved further in that direction, Taiwan will become a super-aged society by 2026 when those 65 or older are projected to account for 20% of the population. In an effort to tackle what is potentially a national security issue, opposition KMT candidate Han Guoyu proposed a subsidy to encourage people to have children. Senior KMT officials highlighted some of the subsidy's details during a press conference on Monday. These include a one-time subsidy of 30,000 UNT dollars or 984 US dollars for all firstborns and a subsidy of 60,000 UNT dollars or 1,968 US dollars for second-born children. All families with children under the age of six will also receive a separate annual subsidy of 60,000 UNT dollars. The subsidy package also covers part of early childhood education. The subsidy would pay for kindergarten tuition for children three years or older. The KMT officials also said they're looking to set up child development centers to help educate toddlers younger than three. KMT vice presidential candidate Zhang Shanzhong said that the package will cost 57 billion UNT dollars or 1.87 billion US dollars per year when the number of children covered reaches peak. Jake Chen, RTI News. Thank you.